Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper and bioproducts industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where today we'll be taking a deep dive into the white liquor plant, where we'll be finding out about Andrit's latest technology for lime mud drying. I am Mark Rushton, and I will be your host. More efficiency means a lower carbon footprint. In further efforts towards maximizing efficiencies of white liquor plants, Andritz has developed Lime Dry H, a uniquely simplified and ultimately more efficient technology for lime mud drying. The new system also allows the option for the latest Andritz autonomous white liquor plant solutions for increased autonomous operations. So we'd like to welcome Andrus experts Avila Sepanen, sales manager, white liquor plant, Kale Rekola, product manager, white liquor plant, Ari Antikainen, product owner, smart products for white liquor plants. Welcome. Hello, Mark. Uh, nice to be here. Yeah. Hello, Mark. Nice to be here. Okay, so Villa, let's uh, start with how Andritz has improved the lime drying process with Lime Dry H. Where were we and where exactly are we now? Okay, thank you, Mark. Thanks a lot. And yes, we have launched here in Andritz White Liquor Plant a totally new product in lime mud drying area, lime mud disc filter called Lime Dry H. And uh, this is actually a continuation for White Liquor Plant so-called H product family. We have already launched in the white liquor filtration area lime white H and in lime kiln area lime flash H. And the uh, product is fully designed here in Andritz and uh, the manufacturing is happening in our own workshops by our own teams. And the product is under white liquor plant group umbrella. Okay, so um, can you give us a detailed explanation of, of what the new features and advantages are? For sure, Mark, for sure. We have a quite a lot of new features and advantages in this design, and uh, maybe to start with this hollow central shaft. And the biggest benefit to having this in our new design is that we do not need any more this quite a large vacuum tank, which we have used in previous models. And uh, that is because of the separation of filtrate and gases is now actually happening in this hollow shaft and the new design filtrate valve. So you can imagine we can actually decrease the footprint at least 30% with this new design. So quite a lot of benefits when think- thinking about uh, installations in mill areas are of course in the CAPEX side. So it is very, very good, good new feature, this hollow, hollow central shaft. And second, maybe to mention this central shaft axial movement. Now there are rotating that with constant axial movement, and that leads for sure in more homogeneous lime mud and better pre coat renewable. And what that means in lime kiln area is that there is a less temperature fluctuation in flue gases from the lime kiln. And you know, ultimately, that means savings in energy. And uh, one new feature also is these air agitators. Previously, we have used mechanical agitators in the lime mud feeding, but now we're designing these new air agitators. And uh, for sure, there is a lot of benefits using those. For example, less service items, no plugins, build-ups or scalings in air agitators or on wet bottom. So ultimately, it is very efficient feeding and mixing of lime mud with this design. And safety, that is always a very important issue here in Andritz. And uh, we concentrated with this area in this design also in this case. and. Uh, we improved hood design because now we have access doors actually on both sides of the hood. In uh, previous models, it was only only been in the scraper side of the hood, 
but now in the boat size and for sure uh, that means much more safer and convenient access to perform all the maintenance works and in the during the operation the observation possibilities are now much more better and maybe still add one one new feature what is very important for sure is this filtering disks now we have a little bit more larger area for these filtering disks so that for sure means more capacity you can achieve as much as eight percent more capacity with this new design so i think that is a quite a quite a lot in this in this matter and actually even though if you are using this filtering disk which are a little bit larger the equipment itself could be even be a little bit smaller again in capex side this means a uh, uh, savings wow so uh, it seems that a lot of work has been done and uh, and and ultimately uh, it seems that the lime dry h is a better process for less price kale can you explain a little further the sustainability aspects of the improved technology yes of course mark so base idea is that the customer is basically buying the whole lime drying process instead of the filter unit alone. So the main main focus in the development has been in, in high availability, uh, easy operation and excellent serviceability as, as Ville, Ville pointed out also. And now when there is no need for the uh, filtration vessel, when the separation happens in the shaft, this makes this makes sense in in material usage wise, so that the investment is less, and also it's it plays important role if we think about the layout in the mill side that that we don't have to have this space reservation for the filtration vessel. So these these are the main points that I would like to well point out. <laughs> Sure. Um, obviously, sustainability is a major factor now in the, in the production of pulp. So um, can you explain a little bit further sustainability aspects of the improved technology? And, and maybe you could give us some numbers as well. Yeah, of course. Uh, I would like to point out two, two aspects. And the first one is uh, reduction of water consumption. So now when the pre coat surface is renewed with or by the axial Actually, moving center shaft, we can now get, uh, or, or we, we we don't have to use the low pressure washing for the precoat anymore. And we calculated that we can achieve water saving in the precoat wash of sixty percent. So that is really something to to consider. And other thing uh, related to water savings is that by reorganizing the jet condenser and vacuum pump water recirculation it is possible to save up to uh, 1.3 cubic meters of uh, water for each uh, produced pulp ton and this this uh, example was calculated based on the production of 1 million pulp ton annual production so give you idea how it was achieved. So these were the aspects for this uh, water water savings. And I would also uh, share the aspect of, of emission emission side. So as we have been told earlier that um, now when the lime mud drying process is improved by talking about this vat mixing or mixing of the lime mud in, inside the filter that leads to even quality and higher dry content of the product that is fed in the lime kiln and this this has a significant significant impact for the emissions of the whole whole process so that is that is the main point and also digitalization plays important role when when talking about emissions and i think i would be willing to tell about more about this 
Excellent. Thanks for that, Calais. Really good. Really good to see how much sustainability is being improved even further there. So, Ari, yes, turning to you, can you tell us about the new smart autonomous offerings that go along with Lime Dry H? And ultimately, what benefits will these new applications bring to the customer? Thank you, Mark, of course. So our smart product portfolio, it is really designed to bring new value-adding solutions for our customers' processes. And for Lime Dry H filter, we have this Lime Dry Solids Analyzer available as a smart, smart tool in this area. Uh, the Lime Dry Solids Analyzer, it is a continuous online measurement for measuring the Lime Mud Dry Solids. And with this new uh, tool, we are able to get continuous additional data of the Lime Mud drying process. Uh, with this data, uh, we can use to ensure the constant operation of the lime drying process. And of course, for example, notice any deviations quicker, which then leads to shorter reaction times in operation. But also going to the sustainability aspect that Kalle mentioned, uh, we can use this uh, online data to optimize the fuel consumption of lime kiln, which can then result to reduced uh, fuel consumption, which is, of course, very important, especially in kilns using, using fossil fuels. With this optimization, we are also able to reduce the quality variations uh, in, the, in the lime kiln process. And, of course, this new data can then be connected to our UNRITS upper-level controls, so ACE controls, for even more accurate optimization of the process. Great. Thanks, Ari. So again, um, more efficiency, as we said at the beginning, leads to more sustainability and then digitization is bringing that in as well, which is really good news. So um, Ari, staying with you, I'm sure that there's uh, some ongoing work at Andritz on smart solutions. It's a really fascinating area. Can you reveal to us any developments in the works and what differences they will make to the lime drying process in the future? Yes. So we are, of course, all the time developing new solutions to raise the level of automation in mills and uh, reduce the operator interactions in the processes. So the idea of these solutions is to enhance operator safety, of course, uh, optimize the production and then release operators' time for more value-adding tasks. Um, one of the technologies that we are heavily focusing on is camera machine vision where the idea is to utilize, utilize machine vision in places where operators usually do the visual checks of the process. And this is also a technology that we are utilizing in Lime Dry Age and Lime Mud Filter processes. So in Lime Dry Age, we can use uh, machine vision technology to monitor the condition of the filter disks and also the status of the shoots and scrapers. So this, this solution reduces the need for operator checkups in the filter. Uh, so with our algorithms, we can then uh, recognize any possible issues in the filter uh, and notice, notice them in shorter delays. Also, uh, in addition for machine vision uh, in Lambda H, we are also developing this new uh, completely automated solution uh, for keeping the scrapers and the shoots of the Lambda filter clean. With this solution, we can, of course, enhance the safety of operators because we uh, eliminate the need for any manual cleanings. Uh, we can also reduce the need for manual tasks performed in the filter. And we also allow the process uh, to operate smoother because we can keep it clean 24-7 with this new, new automated solution. Thanks very much, Eri. Um, can you just tell us uh, when you're likely to, uh, to to have that on the market, those new smart solutions? Well, the development is uh, really highly going forward all the time, so I would expect that sometime within the year 2024. Great. Well, Lime Dry H sounds like the perfect solution. Um, Villa, in conclusion, can you give us a quick summary of the benefits of the Lime Dry H process in a nutshell? Yeah, for sure, Mark, for sure. So. As you have heard, we have a lot of new features with great, great benefits in this new design with this Lime Dry Age. So maybe to start with this higher reliability. So there is this less bearing parts, easier maintenance and better process observation possibilities, etc. And uh, 
one of the biggest benefits is this increased capacity. As already told, that you can get almost 10% more capacity with this new design. And better maintainability with all the safety issues also taken care of. And uh, savings in investment and operations. So reduced investment cost due to, the, due to no more need for this very large vacuum tank. And as already told, this more capacity from same sized or even smaller equipment and lower maintenance costs. And as I just told, we have a lot of these new exciting smart products all, all, already in available and also in coming in the near future. So I think this is quite a nutshell in this greatest benefits of this design. Great, excellent, thanks. To find out more about the Lime Dry H process from Andritz, please visit the Andritz website. You will find a link in the show notes of this podcast. I'd like to say a great big thanks to our Andritz experts and to all of our listeners. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye.